Hi, Mike Violette with EMCTV.TV in Dresden, Germany. I'm with Bob Scully, current president of the IEEE EMC Society. Bob, how did we get here? Well, we, uh, we talked a lot about uh, having some joint conferences and activities with the EMC Europe organization, and it seemed like this would be a really, really good fit for that opportunity. And so after a couple of meetings and some discussions, we were able to formulate that agreement, and, and here we are. And so it, uh, sometimes the magic happens. So it's a mixed committee between the two organizations? It's a shared, it's a shared set of responsibilities. Uh, EMC Europe and uh, IEEE EMC Society split the uh, responsibilities on all of the, the technical committees, on all of the arrangements. Uh, and so forth. And so we have a, the chair is from uh, EMC Europe, uh, uh, Professor Hans Jorg uh, Krauthauser, and then uh, we had, uh, we shared a technical uh, activities chair, Bruce Archambault was, uh, shared that chair. Uh, so uh, there was a good give and take and sharing of responsibilities between the two organizations. So it's truly a unique and joint experience for both of us. Well, I think everybody's enjoying the fruits of your labor. How, how long did this process take, and when was the idea germinated? I think uh, probably, uh, I would say probably a two-year period of time from the uh, to germinate and, and to actually come to fruition. Uh, there was, again, there was a lot of discussion. Uh, there was a lot of back and forth. Uh, we talked in, uh, in uh, we went to Switzerland, to Gothenburg. We had some discussions there. You just had to go to Switzerland to talk. That's right. We had to go to Switzerland to talk. Uh, we were in Bruges. Good thing you were in a neutral country then. <laughs> uh, Sweden, actually, not Switzerland. Oh, okay. uh, sorry about that. Uh, Sweden, Gothenburg, in Sweden, and then we were in Brugge in uh, Belgium, and we had further discussions. And uh, it just it just it just evolved over time. Both organizations were very interested in attempting to do this. And uh, it, you know, when both sides want to have something happen, it, eventually it will come together. And so that's, like I said, it, you know, the magic occurred, and here we are. Well, they rolled this out in Raleigh last year, and came to Santa Clara to promote it some more. And I think it's had a, a great effect on the community coming here as an international organization, truly bringing in international participation. Yeah, we've had a lot of inputs from uh, our uh, our our membership on that very topic. You know, if we're international, how can we? don't do more international things. So this was a really good opportunity for us to address that. Uh, not that it's a shortcoming for us, you know, we do, we have a, a tremendous amount of membership in the sure. United States and uh, many of those people were not able to come here and so we had Santa Clara right. and so that's why we had the two two events this year. So to make sure that we reach all of our membership or the most, uh, the, the greatest amount of our membership that we can reach. And we're staying international next year, too. We are. We're going to stay international henceforward, I'm sure. Yes. Good, good. Well, congratulations on all your work. I think it's been an astounding success. We got a little rain this week, but I uh, understand they need it in this area. Yeah, it was very, very hot when we first arrived here. Uh, we left Houston, uh, my current hometown, and it was uh, in the upper 90s with the humidity in the upper 90s. And we got to Berlin and we got off the plane and it was in the 90s and the humidity was in the upper 90s and it was like, oh, we're here in Houston, Germany. Welcome, welcome <laughs> home to Germany. Yeah, and so then we came, to, we came here to Dresden on the train uh, and uh, we got off the train and it was in the 90s with the high humidity and the river was not even there. It was only 50 centimeters deep and uh, going away. And, and then we started to get these rains here. It hasn't been torrential, but it's been yeah. kind of steady. And now the river is up almost two meters. Yeah. So that's well, uh, it's it's pretty amazing that, it, that the river could recover that quickly. And it's, and it's perfect, the rain and the Baroque architecture, nice for romantic walks, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, absolutely. you know, we EMC engineers are incurable romantics. Yeah. That is true, yes. that is true. Right. For <laughs> romantic. I my wife with me, so <laughs> we've been enjoying some of that romance. <laughs> Good. All right, Bob, thanks for all your work and thanks to the committee. I'm Mike Bialat, EMCTV.TV, coming from Dresden, Germany.